Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California, powered here by Lee Gaming. I am It's King Lime, and I'm joined by two absolute legends in Grizz and Davos to call, which arguably is going to be the most exciting matchup yet, Grizz. Yeah, absolutely. I'm fresh off a 15-hour drive back home from Alabama to Buffalo, so we are ready to go. Took a short one-hour nap, but of course, ready for the broadcast. Sounds good, Grizz. And Davos, how are you feeling tonight as we get into our finals here? I'm ready for some championship action, my friend. It's going to be a heavyweight title bout, and uh, I expect to see nothing but the best that we've seen so far. The best of the best it is. And why don't we take a look at how these teams got here and recap uh, what we saw uh, previously. Yeah, we'll so pass. taking a look here, of course, we had... Entourage, a 3 nothing quarters finals win over Legacy, following that up with a 3-1 semifinals win versus Composure. That one loss coming in regulation. Looking over at Isles GT, a 3-2 quarterfinals win over Momentum. Both of those losses were in overtime, so they do not have a regulation loss yet in playoffs and a 3 nothing semifinals win versus the underdogs. That is how these guys got here. They are now ready to go for the finals. All right, and uh, these teams got through a couple of teams, like you just said, Grizz, is the 3 nothing against the underdogs and against Composure, but let's take a look at the uh, lineups that we have coming in uh, tonight. As for Entourage, 36-3-3 record uh, during the regular season. Entourage is suiting Hendry on left wing, Ethan C at center, Gilly on right wing, Doughty on lefty, on right D, we have Dumoulin and in goal, Rampage, Chris. Yeah, so for Entourage, I mean, this is storybook time. It is Hendry leaving Isles GT, was not satisfied losing in the semifinals, comes over to Entourage, and they basically took that old Eclipse team. They kick Rick Shell to the curb, bring the rest of the fellas in, and of course, bringing Rampage along as well. A nice change there in net for them. He's been fantastic. But Hendry gets back to the championship in the CBJ gaming event. They get back in the winner's circle. Now, Isles GT also looking to get beyond the semifinals. They are finally back in the championship here with the addition of McFlurry and RWB as well. But before we get into them, let's talk a little bit about Entourage. 40% on the power play, 80% on the penalty kill, 61 shot differential, and a 34 goal differential. We talked about how they got here with the quarters and semifinals win, just one lone loss in playoffs. Ethan C leading playoffs in goals with 23, shots with 59, deflections with 28, and game winning goals with five. He has been lights out for this team. Dumoulin has four goals and leads playoffs and assists with 21. Hendry has five penalties drawn. He has been clearly a massive asset for this club with 12 goals and 19 assists, good for 31 points. On the other side, Gilly also coming in with 11 goals, 20 assists, and 31 points. Rampage and net, as I mentioned, has been phenomenal. An 885 save percentage, a 1.28 goals against average. And you can't forget about Dowdy as well. Dowdy has been unbelievable carrying the puck finding his men in stride and of course you can't forget about the connection with Hendry on those dump ins and Hendry when he gets going on that head of steam and Doughty hits the boards you get a lively bounce and Hendry's going towards the net and finding Ethan C on the finish yeah a lot of great players on this team and like you said Grizz it is going to be exciting that Hendry connection as we look forward to seeing how that goes both of these teams uh, Grizz only one of them Losing in regulation, the other one only two losses in overtime. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so let's get into that. And it's a tribute to how good these teams are. And I'm going to do it uh, if we can bring back up the lineups as well so we can go through the Isles GT lineup. I spent a little bit of time on the Entourage lineup. But yeah, just truly incredible. Not loot. They, they had one lone loss in the regular season, and that was with a utility player in George in the lineup. George, uh, obviously a little better than a utility player, but nonetheless... Uh, they did have one lone loss in playoffs and then moving into um, moving into the playoffs, excuse me, only losing twice to momentum, both of those coming in overtime. So certainly knowing how to get it done, knowing how to finish and knowing how to win games off. So looking at the lineup, you have Gabsy, McFlurry, Fisher. You also have Grimm, Regs and RWB coming into the fold. We mentioned a couple of those faces are new. The McFlurry and Gabsy connection has been unbelievable and they're coming over from Olympia. Gabsy left them earlier, Grimm as well. McFlurry did his own thing for an event, and then coming back into the fold, they have not skipped a beat. They've certainly been unbelievable. Uh, could use a little bit of work on the power play, just 33% there, making up for it on the penalty kill, 88.9%. 
and Reg's leading playoffs and in interceptions with 89. Just fantastic defensively on that end. McFlurry, 18 goals, 16 assists, good for 34 points, which leads playoffs currently. And RWB, fantastic in net as well. 869 save percentage, 1.08 goals against average. The thing that is interesting about Isles GT upon the departure of Hendry, getting it done in different ways. Fisher has learned how to score in different unique ways in and around the net. Typically on that former iteration with Hendry, we only saw those stop up one timers and that was really Fisher's bread and butter. Now Hendry still hits those stop up one timers with Gilly, but now Fisher has learned new ways to score getting into the dirty areas in and around the net. And of course the connection between McFlurry and Gabsy down low cannot be understated. I can't wait for this matchup. Two unbelievable teams, certainly deserving to be here. The number one team taking on the number two team. The, the number one team taking on the number two team. We couldn't have asked for anything better here, Grizz. There can only be one duck left in the pond, and we're going to find out tonight if that's going to be Entourage or the Isles gaming team, which I believe is the first NHL team in a final here, Grizz. That is, and it's, you know, we're getting to a point where these teams are going to start coming out of the fold, and you know that Jordan is certainly ecstatic about it, having done the uh, Regs versus Eki event. Now Regs having the opportunity to win a 6v6 championship here in the Anaheim Ducks launch tournament. It is going to be a good one. And nonetheless, we made some predictions here, guys, and they may not be the best. Um, <laughs> I had Ducks Gaming Caps, Entourage uh, Isles, and uh, Scary Hours, which was a, a scary pick, I guess. Grizz, run through yours. Yeah, so I started with Caps, and Caps, you know, they're, they've are struggled to their own standard. Um, for me, I had them as the number one team, and obviously still a phenomenal team, but they've struggled to meet that top overall standard. I believe they finished in 10th or 11th in the regular season, um, but you have, of course, Entourage, Isles GT in their composure as well. Uh, but yeah, missed the mark on Caps in scary hours. I think uh, they have to go back to the drawing board. They got a little bit of work to do to get back into that top five. Davos, what about you? Well, obviously, you can tell my uh, very poor selection over as the at least four of my five picks are not even in the finals. And <laughs> a lot of them were eliminated in round one, round two, or round three. I did not have Entourage in my top five. Ooh. I probably would have put them at six. And I'm totally ending up uh, beefing that power rankings from the very first, uh, very first week. So... A lot of lot to uh, a lot of to uh, look back to, a lot to learn, and a lot to uh, look forward to in our next uh, next events coming up in the future. So, I'll hopefully do a next a better job in my power rankings, and I'll uh, I'll take this from here. Yeah, well, there you go. These are predictions, guys, that we all did before the event happened. So um, this is what we thought may happen, but we were uh, we were not right. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> back to the drawing board for us and back to the drawing board for a couple of these teams as well. But we get a look at the cameras here at the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California. And there they are. Entourage at the oh top, Isles GT at the bottom. Bottom, and do these guys ever look like they're ready to go here, Grizz? Well, they're certainly ready to not give us a centered camera. That's for certain. Some of these guys playing in the dungeon, as you always see. Dumoulin looks like he's playing from the office. And you just love to see it. Couple of bedrooms, couple of made beds. We saw a couple of these players making their beds right before the broadcast. I'm going to put them on blast <laughs> for that. Love to see it as, you know, it you is know, what it is, but here uh, we are. You got Ethan C with the glasses on. <laughs> These boys are ready to go, and you love it. Ethan C uh, sh shining bright like a diamond, and Doughty is Doughty's there, I hope. And uh, he, we'll dive into this one quickly. Davos, what do you think? Oh, definitely. Honestly, I always enjoy the, the cams that we get every time we do uh, an event like this and to see what is going on with the with every player on each team i saw ethan see where some pretty interesting shades in the in the semifinals and now he's now he is continuing that trend and he's another another epic pair of shades for him tonight how not, about gabsy's angle as well like what is that camera angle looks like he like reached up and knocked his camera sideways and just left it there for good measure it's Looks, the top, top of the head the, cam he there, could boys. could be on the floor. As, as Gabs gives us the peace <laughs> He's sign. sideways on the floor. I love it. We it's, see you, Gabs. Uh, it's good to see all these boys all excited. The smiles all around. And why not? One of these teams is going to be walking away with six 
thousand dollars the other one is going to be taking home two guys we didn't get our predictions in yet i'm going to throw it to grizz first what do you think we're going to see here in this best of five you know storied franchises storied players all these players certainly know how to win for me it's coin flipping five i'm, I'm going the easy way out taking the easy way out i think it's going to be a game five overtime a game five overtime is Grizz said it best. It's basically a flip of the coin at this point. But here we go. Game number one here at the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California. We're going to send it down to ice level with Davos and Grizz. Well, it has come down to this. We are down to the final two teams, the championship in the horizon. This is the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 6v6 tournament. And this is your finale right here as Entourage meets Isles GT. We're underway in game one. Puck drop is underway. Grim controls for Isles GT. And he'll take it off the boards. Good quick feed to Fisher now. A quick feed to the front poked away. And McFlurry was there for the rebound, but just not enough room to work the puck around. Dowdy will work it up the ice for Entourage. Up the boards. Ethan C. Dancing in. Knock the puck away. Back over to Gabsy. He'll streak ahead back over to McFlurry. Give and go. Gamsey backhand chance. That one got knocked away to the corner. Good breakout rush there. No chance on the move. And Entourage will carry it up the neutral zone. Here's Downey. Quick strike over to Ethan C. Poked away defensively. But Gilly will take it behind. Left side corner point chance. Return back across. Nobody home from Henry. And this one goes down the ice. Although we'll, they will regroup in their own defensive zone. Across they go. Ethan C. back to center. Gabsy knocked away back around for Entourage. Trying to find a, a moment where they can find some, qu uh, some quick passes up the boards. Quick over to Gilly now. Gilly across the left, right side. He'll spin to the corner now. Ethan C. takes possession. Cuts the slot. Back the line for Dowdy. No shot from him. Again, return strike is blocked away. Here comes the chance for Fisher. And Isles GT, a three on two, dancing a pass. And that one defended well there, but intercepted and cleared into the zone. Dumoulin made that good heads up play. No yeah, and transition Davos so far huge for these teams. There's not much ice to be given. Nice save there as well. RWB tested there as first save of the game. As they walk across, it's Isles GT. Nice feed over to Gabsy. Man breaking the net. Pass in front. Pass save. Rebound puck loose. And Rampage makes a couple there. Well, it saves early they... for both of these goaltenders. Getting into the action as these teams going through that feeling out process. We already mentioned play each other so many times. Know each other so well. They're going to have to work hard to open this thing up. Rapper on attempt denied there by RWB. Back over to Gabsy. A fiddle to center ice. This one goes back in their defensive zone entourage. We'll look to regroup again. A couple of great eight chances. And Gilly streaks in on the backhand. Oh, what a save. Rebound off the back of the cage. And it deflects into the seats. Nice move there by Gilly. Taking that one to the outside on the backhand. Opening up space for Ethan C in the slot. We've seen him finish off of that pass many a time. Better save that time as the puck falls its way out of play. Here's the faceoff back across. A register is blocked away to the corner. Here's a rush now. And Fisher back over for Regs. Regs will carry it across the zone. Nice fiddle to Fisher. Fisher backhand poked away by Entourage. Here comes Henry. Poked away again by Fisher. He takes it away. Back to the point. Regs a drive. And that one hits a skate deflects wide of the net. Back behind McFlurry. McFlurry trying to finesse it to the front. And nobody was home to find it. Back the other way goes Entourage now. Henry nice move. Backhand over to Dowdy. Dowdy behind the goal. Back to the point now. Dumoulin bodied out of the zone, boxed out defensively, and he has to retreat back into his own zone. He'll skate up left side, cut to the middle, dancing, and he's absolutely leveled. Slow to get up a little bit, dazed, but he's back up on his feet, and Dowdy will take it over to Henry. Henry level at the blue line. He's slow to get up as well. Fisher will carry a three-on-two down the wing, back across. What a back check by Ethan C., and another two-on-two -two for Entourage. Across to Downey, want to feed a backhand. That's the side of the net and picked up by Isles GT. They'll walk it over the right side. Fisher to the net. Fisher cutting in backhand of the slot, returning it back over Gabsy. Point chance for Grimm now. Grimm back, the reverse it behind the cage is picked up again by Entourage. Entourage will uh, full steam ahead down for Gilly. Gilly to the net. Gilly pass in front is knocked away. 
Another rush, a two on three on two. And offside, I'm just a little bit too la a little too lazy of a pass there. Offside. Yeah, back flo floater of the pass there. That's coming back to the neutral zone. Is Still waiting for this thing to open up. You're starting to see some of those centering feeds, but they are not connecting. These teams are ready for defense. Up the zone, they go back for regs. We got less than a minute to go. 35 fast seconds on the clock. They dump it in. Right side corner. In the corner, back behind. Wraparound attempt flushed out by Entourage. And here's Hendry down the right side. He'll look to get something going. Gilly, time expiring. Puck to the back. Here's Downey, a wrist turn. That one will deflect out of play as we end the first period of play in game one of our championship. Let's loop in King Lime. What are you seeing out there? What do these teams got to do to get on the board here? Yeah, this is just a great hockey here. New York Islanders are so good in transition here, Grizz. You see the puck get turned over right at the line there by Entourage, then playing tight at the line. And then uh, Isles are just gone the other way. They want to take off with speed and try and capitalize on that. And then we saw Hendry making a nice little entry there to get around uh, uh, Grimm, I believe, on the left-hand side. And uh, we'll see if maybe he's got some tricks up his sleeve, being this is the team he used to play on, Grizz. Yeah, absolutely. Knows the tendencies better than anyone. And not only that, but they've also played Olympia plenty of time. So certainly knowing what uh, Gabzy, Grimm, and McFlurry bring to the table as well. Uh, the wild card, you know, the RWB in that. You got to do something different to score on him. Uh, Entourage, three shots to IGT's zero. So certainly Isles GT looking for more offense here. But game's still tied. Here we go. And period two underway. And here it comes Entourage, um, Isles GT up the middle, dumping it into the corner now. Back around for uh, Entourage. Here's Dumoulin back across over. Ethan, see a backhand feed. He just misses it. And it goes wide to Hendry again. He'll try to fill it to the front. Knocked down left side corner. Ethan, see his backhand. Poked away by Fisher. And a three on two. Here comes McFlurry back to Gabsy. And Gabsy late on the shot attempt. Hits the back of the cage. And back in the hands of Entourage it goes. Over the middle, RWB. Quick feed over to Rags. And a three on two for Isles GT, here's Fisher, back feed pass, right into the bread basket, and Rampage will get the whistle. Yeah, and Rampage makes that one look easy. Just going left to right on your screen makes the easy save. As Isles GT looking to get their first shot on the board here. Now an offensive zone faceoff. It's out back in the slot, turning his grim over to Regs. Regs lets her go. It got blocked in front. Ethan C will carry it up the left side. He'll dance it back over to Dowdy. Pressure defensively from Isles GT on Entourage, keeping him at bay here. Quick strike over there. There's Hendry on the back end. Hendry right side back to Dumoulin. He has a chance there. Dumoulin's to go and a save by RWB turned away to the corner. Gilly, Ethan C back to Hendry again. Hendry right side, wraparound flushed out there by Regs. Across and deflects behind the cage again. Here comes Gabzi, a one-on-one -on -one Fisher now with a man breaking. Fisher, no chance. Back to the point. Here's Grimm. Grim waltzes back a one timer from Gabsy blocked away. In that right side, it fiddles to center and across Gilly over the right side. Grim pickpocketed by Dumoulin. Pass is knocked down in front. Here's McFlurry intercepted, but right back to McFlurry again. McFlurry right left side to walking in behind a loose puck. Hits the side of the net. And here's a rush for Entourage now. Hendry across to Doughty, and they'll call it offside just too far ahead of the puck there. And I'm actually surprised to see how Entourage has come to play, forcing a lot more often than you typically see. Uh, I mentioned that Ethan C does lead playoffs in deflections with 28. Not really, have, haven't seen him in front with a point shot yet. We did have that point shot from Dumoulin, but no traffic in front. And Entourage just seems like they're running down the wing and attacking the center, but the center covered well by Oz GT. So I think Entourage is going to have to open this thing up and get Dowdy and Dumoulin moving around the point. We know how good they can be when they're shifting sides, getting that forehand pass across look instead of just burning down the wing and sending it across. Isles GT not giving that up just yet. Yeah, that kind of that kind of strategy may work a lot, but when it comes to a, of a championship, it might not be the best course of action. You need to get the, your thinking caps on in these series. That is for sure as we see who will take the lead in this game one. It's stolen by Fisher now. He'll throw it across to McFlurry. Nice dump around the net, backhand over to Gabsy. Then across, Grimm walks it in, shot to save by Rampage. Rebound back over, and a rush for Gilly dancing in. 
Killian loses his traction, but he gets the puck in the corner. Around the slot, top circle, pass to the front, intercepted. And Gabsy across the right side of Florida to the front, turned away by Rampage. And that one is back into the hands of Entourage. The little skate out of Dumoulin dancing in a, he is popped at the blue line to keep possession of the play though. Ethan Seen is back in over to Dumoulin now, right side. He'll, he'll spin off, pass to Ethan C. Ethan C, left side circle. Then to Dowdy. Dowdy, a pass. Gilly the threading and a shot of save. As Ethan C lets that one go, RWB with a big save there. Loose puck, one timer attempt. Flushed out there by Isles GT. Fisher over there, Big Flurry. Fisher back in the corner, top of the key. Give and go. Fisher again. He's knocked off. He tries to do a desperation shot. It was denied. That one deflects it ahead. There's a chance for Entourage down the wing. And a rush for a chance for Hendry. Poked away Gilly. Gilly back over right side to Dumoulin now. Dumoulin. Dumoulin waits with the puck. Dumoulin sidesteps back a down. He shoots. Save made. Our WB. No rebound there. And a whistle with a minute 15 to go. And, and that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. You see Dumoulin starting to knife through the offensive zone just like a ballerina using the right stick, working that puck movement and opening up a good shot lane in front with traffic, but no second chance on the better save. And the faceoff won by Isles GT. Fisher returns it back to Regs. And Regs will walk it into the corner now. And he'll slowly sashay to the center ice. Back over to Gabsy. Gabsy, nice spin pass. Broken up there by Entourage. Five seconds to go in this second period. Still deadlocked at zero. One last rush. Dilly a shot. Glove save by RWB as we hit the second intermission of game one. Let's loop line back in line. We got a stalemate still looking for that first goal. What are you seeing out there? You know what? The, you're going to have two types of people in this game here, Grace. You're going to have people that are upset and want to see pucks in the net, but that's just not me. This is what we signed up for. This is back and forth. These guys are going to be grinding out these wins. This is for six grand. They're going to be playing safe. They're going to be playing smart, and that's exactly what you're seeing here with Entourage leading the time on attack with almost double, Grace. Yep, doubling up the time on attack, and have three more shots as well. But we, like I said earlier, seeing a little too much forcing out of Entourage. They did get a little bit out of that towards the end of that period. We'll see if they can get on the board first. And for Isles GT, you, you got to try to attack in transition. Use your speed, set up shop, get some shots through. As both these teams defensively, it is certainly a chess match, taking away opportunity after opportunity. It's been a dicey game so far, but there is still, there's still some, some sort of life. And they're hanging on to it. As we had to period three, somebody has to get them on the board. Somebody has to start this series off with a bang. We will see. Back to the point. Here's a chance. Downey, quick feeding over to Hendry. Hendry, top of the key. Delayed call coming up now. Ford Isles, GT in the front. Entourage controls. One timer glove saved by RWB. And a power play for Entourage to start in the third. You see Dumoulin curling around in the zone, finding Gilly that same side one-timer. Not going that time, but now the man advantage. Let's see if they can get on the board. 40% on the season, 10 for 48. Isles, 88.9% on the PK. Dumoulin, the threat through. What a save by RWB. As that was a good maneuver from Dumoulin to try and set up something at the front of the net. Yeah, threading the needle into the slot. Ethan C was ready for it, but couldn't get the shot he wanted off. That gave RWB a chance to make the save, and 142 to go here on the power play for Entourage. Here's the faceoff one back for Regs. Isles GT boost puck. Grim short-handed. And the threading pass just misses Gabsy there. And here is Entourage up the neutral zone. It's uh, Dowdy back to Dumlin. Dumlin waits to the top of the circle back to Dowdy. Dowdy returns it over to Dumlin, right side, top circle, loose puck. What a pass! Then Dowdy can't get the pass and the shot away. Back to Dumlin again. Dumlin gives it back, defensive give and go. DD, Rister right through and a stop by RWB. No rebound and a whistle here. Entourage putting on the pressure on that power play, but the penalty kill for Isles GT standing up tall. We remain even at zero apiece. 16.45 to go in the third. 15 seconds to work with on the power play. Time's running out here. Here's the puck face off across. Gilly to Hendry. Hendry back behind the net. They circle around with it. And the puck hits a stick. The flex wide of the net. Here's a rush now. It's picked up for, for Gabsy across the go. Returning it back in. 
And here is Dumoulin across. Here's Ethan C. Nice feed. And that one is broken up to the corner now. It's ahead. A three on two. Dropping it back is Fisher now. Fisher dangles in. Back to the point. Regs. Regs looking for somewhere. Pass to Gabsy. He fronts a pass through to Fisher and just misses him. He oh. had Fisher crashing back door. Could not find a way to handle on to that pass. Never could get a stick on it. And therefore, no shot on. Last one dumped in the right side corner, chopped around. Good play to the front. It's intercepted. Ethan C across to Gilly now. Gilly finds Henry over the zone. Right side circle. What a move. Pass in front is knocked down. And the goal tender, oh, goal tender RWB will smother it up with 11.48 to go. Well, and a tendency you're seeing here out of Entourage, you're seeing Hendry on the forehand on the right side, getting a lot of those zone entries, trying to set up that forehand pass from down out of the corner. Nice face off, but right back into the hands of Fisher now. Fisher walks it in. Loose puck for, for Gabsy in the corner. Gabsy trying to work it to the side of the net. McFlurry hits the point man. Grim. Nice move. Pass to the funny. Maybe too much of a pass. Rebound in front. Of the right off the stick of Dumoulin. And that was very dangerous right in front of the crease. Around they go. Entourage. What a feed to Ethan C. Dancing in. He's... Not going to get a shot away there. Defended perfectly by Isles GT. And this one back right side. Gilly, good cycle here for Entourage now. Gilly waiting. Triple coverage and intercepted. Chance for Fisher. Uh, one on two with a man breaking. And Fisher, no room. He'll get you back to the point. Grim. Grim waltzing. And looking finds Gabsy. Poked away off his stick. And it's knocked down. They keep it going. McFlurry back to Grim. With room, he can't get the shot away. Still trying to find the lane. A shot blocked in front by Entourage. 6-10 to go, third period. Still scoreless at zero. Across they go. Entourage now attacking. Here's Dumoulin over to Gilly. Gilly behind the net, back inside. Missing the pass to Downey. It goes all the way down in their defensive zone. Shh. Dan, uh, trying to get a foot on it was Gabsy. No dice. Here's a chance for Dumoulin now. Entourage tagging again. Pass to Henry. And that one deflects wide. Here is a chance Regs. He's got 345 to go. They try and get into the zone. Good clean entry here. Regs. Around one man. To the backhand. Fiddle. What a stop there by Rampage. And there's a penalty coming up with less than three minutes to go. Power play. Isles GT. I mentioned Isles had work to do on the power play. They're going to have a chance to prove that here. We'll see what they can draw up. Just 33.3% on the power play thus far in playoffs. This one back around it goes. And a long dump to center ice where Regs will control it. 33% on the power play for Isles GT. And they will get it behind and try and get another attack on the way. Minute 15 to go. Here's Regs. Rags with room, a pass, they score! Make Flurry! What a play from Rags! It's 1 0, Isles GT! And it was just the patience of Rags off the zone entry that set up that whole play. He walked in, slowed right down, took all the ice in front of him, and McFlurry got the better of Ethan C on that cut. Ethan C had it covered for just a moment, but then he split towards the net. Was McFlurry getting his 19th goal of the playoffs? My goodness, what a setup. And Regs has enough time and space. He freezes everybody, including the goaltender, thinking he's going to shoot it. And he get, finds a wide open back door. And there's no mistake on that one. And Entourage outdoing him as far as time on attack and shots. But that doesn't matter. You're down one. Find a way to get yourselves on the board. We have a one nothing game here as time is starting to tick. We'll get the double uh, timeout, of course, and 2.07 to go here in the third period. It took a power play to do it. Entourage failed to score on their power play attempt. I mentioned IGT had to go to work. They did. They found a way to go ahead one. Now it's time for Entourage to counter back. Their fourth shot of the game on the power play is a huge goal for them. McFlurry continues his dominance in the playoffs. With Isles GT, loose buck side of the goal, picked up by Dowdy. Dowdy will walk it across. He'll skate ahead with a puck back inside to Dumoulin. Knocked down, and they clear it down the ice. Right on net for Rampage. He'll steer it away back for Dowdy. They got 50 seconds on the clock here. 
Again, left side, they dump it in. Gilly's gonna try and get there first. He battles Grimm now. The battling in the corner. Loose puck for Grimm. He avoids everybody. Back around for Fisher. And Fisher skates in. Now in the back end. Right side corner trying to kill as much time as he can. And he walks it in. And that one deflects wide. Here's a rush back to Doughty. Dumoulin now with 25 on the clock. Over the middle. Cutting back in. Up the zone. Pass to the foot. Knocked away. Out of the zone with 15 seconds to go. Dumoulin. Loses the puck. Fisher's got control. He's going to dump it in. Eight seconds to go. One last rush here for Entourage. They got a quick strike over. Henry walks in. Back to Ethan C. And that'll do it. No chance. And a game one win for Isles GT. They take a 1 0 lead in the game and a 1 0 lead in the series. Well, it only took four shots for them to get on the board. That's all they get in the whole game, just four shots. Doesn't matter. They take game one. It's going to be a long series. Fully expect Entourage to bounce back here in game two. Uh, they certainly had the edge throughout the game, but it was that lone penalty they took that ended up being their dagger. Lime, what do you see? Zero goals for one team, one for the other. That's all I saw there, Grizz, and it didn't feel that way, did it? That was a very, very exciting game between the number one and the number two seed here. That is for sure at the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California. And we are doing some giveaways for you guys, chat. Not only will uh, Entourage and uh, Isles be the one taking away some prizes tonight is if you guys do exclamation point giveaway in the chat, you'll be entered to win. We'll be giving one away right after a word from our sponsors. Egress joined by Henry. He scores! Trevor Egress, overtime game winner. Hello, everybody. We are back. It's Grizz Davos and myself here for the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament. We are powered here by Lee Gaming, and we have a giveaway to do. It's a $25 arch card that is only able to be used in the united states so it is the festive and giving time of year so if you have a canadian friend you want to pass that over to feel free is it also comes with a piece of swag from the anaheim ducks that you will be able to hold on to but let's run that giveaway there in chat as everybody got their giveaways in in five four three two quack and the winner is Jolon, good old Jolon. Jolon, are you here? Um, can I get confirmed if they need to be here to um, to claim? Okay, so you do not have to be here to claim. Um, we will get a hold of you guys. Um, and uh, congratulations on that one. Uh, we have a winner, Chris. Yeah, and everyone's saying re-roll, rig. No, nope. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to be here to claim. Uh, he won. They, he's our first winner. So, uh, sorry, chat. You're out of luck. But well, don't don't forget, there is more lime, isn't there? There's lots more. We are going to be giving away um, one of these arch cards and a piece of Anaheim Ducks swag after every single game except for Game Five. We have four giveaways that we're going to be handing out here and you guys will get your chance to win. So make sure you stick around exclamation point giveaway in the chat and stay involved in the chat to make sure that you get selected. But Grizz, game two, it was uh, game one headed towards Isles. And what do we expect to see here in game number two? Well, I think Entourage is going to get back to what we know and love. Uh, they started to gear up as the game went on. They got away from that forcing that we saw early. Uh, Dumoulin, you saw his dominance with the puck. I expect that mm -hmm. to continue. Uh, a couple of same side one tees we saw. Hendry left off the board against his former club. I think he's going to be out for revenge here in game two. Yeah, you couldn't have said it any better. Uh, I think he's definitely going to be wanting to grind and get one in the back of the net. Do you think that he's got a little bit of insight on the goaltending or the players on his old team? Yeah, I definitely think that, uh, you know, 
these guys play each other so much. They play with each other so much. And if they're not playing against each other in ESHL, they're playing with each other in drafts. So you start to see a lot of those tendencies come through the forefront. Uh, so you bring that into your own locker room and you say, hey, here's what we got to do. This is how we battle them down. This is how we get pucks deep, pucks in the net, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't see a lot of those dowdy dumps into the corner for Hendry. So maybe uh, they'll get back to that this game as well. Maybe they will switch it up. But it sounds like game two is right around the corner here, Davos. What do you think as we get driving into game number two? Well, uh, we saw a good battle between both of these teams in game one. We uh, we could have probably saw overtime, but again, a, a late penalty derived that and gave Isles GT the goal and the win for game one. So back to that, it was basically a back and forth game up into that point. So again, we could probably see a definite uh, battle once again, potentially maybe overtime in the uh, future. Potentially we will find out. Puck drop is underway in game number two, Isles GT and Entourage, the battle begins again as we will see what happens between these two teams but it's a pass and a shot loose puck bounces right to the front is stopped by the goaltender of, of rampage and he will get a quick cover well it took aisles a whole period to get their first shot on the net in game one taking no time to do it here getting a shot on goal in the first minute offensive zone face off here for igt they said hey we need to get uh, on our game as fast as possible we need to get our heads into this series and get to our game plan from the very beginning, they make no made, they make no hesitation on that play, getting the game's first shot on goal. Back to Regs. They control now. Around the net. Back into the corner for Fisher. A loose puck is knocked away. And a rush now for Entourage. Dancing in is Hendry. What a move! And a shot is stopped there. RWB maybe through his own defenseman screen. Makes the pad save. Across they go. Isles on the move. It's Gabsy. Loose puck off a skate. It's taken away. A three on two. Here's Dumlin. Back fed pass intercepted. And Hendry just gave the puck away. Fisher marches on. He waits. Hits his back over to Grimm now. Grimm in that corner. The pass through. Loose puck. It's picked up by Ethan C. And Entourage will start ahead. Up the middle now. A strike. And down the ice. Just missing. Hendry of the pass from Dowdy there. And Isles GT will get the puck back in up the middle now. They dump it in right side. It's back to Fisher. Point chance. Here's a chance to drive. Blocked in front. And maybe a three on two. Here's Hendry down the middle. It's on side. Back to Ethan C. A big save made by RWB as he read that backhand chance beautifully. Fisher lets her, lets her go and a save by Rampage. Loose puck picked up there. Back over to Gilly. Entourage on the move, back to the point now. Dumoulin avoids the hit, he bounces, he loses up front, and he tried to work it to the centering area himself, almost got through. This one to center, intercepted by Hendry. He'll work it in front, a shot from Gilly Glove, saving and a dandy by RWB as we get our first whistle there. A nice move into the zone by Hendry, cutting back inside, finding Gilly back door, rifling that one on. RWB had the answer. He's off here, back of the line. Shot save, rebound, and Hendry was just not facing the right way on the rebound, went right to him. Here's Gabsy for Isles GT. Gabsy McFlurry, return feed, Gilly. I'm sorry, Gabsy. The grandma shot, pen save, rebound is Fisher. Fisher back in, wraparound save made, rebound right to him, and here's Gilly returning it back to Dowdy. And Entourage will get things going here again. Up the middle, Gilly. Knocked away there defensively. They'll have to regroup in their own zone. With less than seven minutes remaining in the first period. Still a scoreless tie as we had to begin game one. Both teams just playing very cautiously, playing as defensive as possible. It may not be the most exciting hockey, but these guys are trying to play to win at all costs across they go back inside maybe a three on two now for uh, for aisles here gamsey across the back and save by rampage rebound deflected wide and here comes a chance now for for entourage it's henry across to gilly out of the reach and offside warning they'll have to regroup at the blue line and here's aisles up to the zone quick strike is knocked away by entourage three minutes 
Little to go in the first period. Up the middle now, Gilly bodied off there. It's Grimm. Two rags in his own zone. He'll skate out to center ice. Rags across the blue line. What a move there. And he has to turn back and get back into his own zone as he just didn't have the right look there. I wonder what the heck he was doing there. They're going to touch that one up offside. I'll tell you what, Isles GT in the offensive zone, they got to be careful. If they're thinking about passing D to D, one thing Entourage is doing, they're attacking the puck carrier with the near side forward, and then they're sending their far side forward up to intercept the pass. So they're trying to pin them back along the blue line, and that could potentially turn into a breakaway for Gilly or Hendry if IGT is not careful. Fisher with some room, a pass, a shot, rebound. Oh my, rebound, a shot on goal. is stopped by Rampage, oh, just a random rebound, almost catching Rampage, swimming in his crease. But luckily, he was able to get back and make the save. Yeah, I'll tell you what, staying composed there, you know, avoiding the right stick. That's the big thing for goaltenders this year. Not swimming all the way out of the blue paint. Stayed just enough in that crease to make that save as uh, Entourage here looking to get their first of this game. Here's a nice feed, but it's broken up by Isles. A quick interception, and that'll do it for the first period. It is a scoreless tie heading into the intermission here. All right, Lime, let's loop you back in, and I believe you want to update our chat on what we are giving away tonight because we're not done with the giveaways. Oh, we got lots coming up here, and while we have a little bit of a head-to-head -head battle going, um, we are giving away a swag item from the Anaheim Ducks and a $25 Arch card that is only applicable in the USA. If you are watching this from somewhere not located on Twitch, make sure you pop over to Anaheim Ducks on Twitch and exclamation point giveaway in the chat. You only have to do it one time, though, as your name will stay inside thank you for that lime uh any update here from what you saw in the first period again scoreless what do these teams got to do to get on the board sorry guys um my bad there uh i'm gonna send it right down to davos i apologize all good man all, all good. good here we go and again i think the way they start, Isles started out this game was a big thing for them, and they score! And talk about Isles coming down the ice is Entourage, and they take a one nothing lead. It's Gilly! Yeah, and how about the offensive zone entry there? Ethan C going to work across the blue line, the right stick work. Gilly sends himself on the forehand cut. Ethan C a dart into the slot. Gilly, the clean finish. Entourage up one nothing. Around they go, Ethan C is Entourage looking to strike again in the puck will deflect out of play. What a strike to start the second period and again, talk about uh, <laughs> the play of Isles and right down the ice comes Entourage. They cannot be taken lightly. The one bit back across, intercepted by Fisher. Isles on the move, here's a chance for McFlurry. Nice move, Mo McFlurry misses, he hit the goal post. What an LT spin. Backhand stopped by Rampage. Rebound back to Rags at the point. Rags back. Fisher poked away there by Hendry. Fisher, and they can't get it deep. It's in the back, and it's ahead for Ethan C. Across for Entourage. And that's offside as we get another, another stoppage here. Not even four minutes into the second. And Davos, it is not often you can make Dumoulin look like that. But McFlurry just pulled the rabbit out of the hat. Absolute trickery with the LT, but nothing doing as it's all for not. He's left off the board. Here's Fisher now on the backhand behind. He's leveled, but they get it away. And Ethan C will walk it across. Nice move to Dumoulin. He's knocked away defensively. Tried to do that. Uh, <laughs> tried to wiggle and try to catch RWB off that post there. But no avail. He lost and ran out of real estate. And offside will be called against Isles GT. Offsides for Isles GT there as now they're going to look to get themselves back in the game as they only scored one goal in game one. Well, Entourage, now they have one goal. They finally get their first of this series. They're going to look to hang on and even this series up as Isles GT did win game one by the score of one to nothing. They will dump it behind the net back over to Hendry now. Hendry away. Good feedback to Gilly across. It goes to Hendry. Hendry knocked off the puck. Here's Fisher now ahead for Gabsy. Poke checked. And back to Regs. Regs will dance his way in. Across to Fisher on the right side. Fisher cuts in. 
Fisher battles and it's knocked away and it's scooped up and just offside at the blue line. So close for Regs there. Man, that was an aggressive, confident step from Regs. If he missed Hendry on that poke check, oh man, Hendry would have been off to the races, but nonetheless able to get the poke check. Does go offside though. So now Entourage, the chance to clear off that offense, off that neutral zone faceoff win. And here's Gilly away down the right side. The pass is out of the reach. And Dowdy around back to Doom when he shoots the flex out of play. And we look at that fast rush by Gilly. And I'm seeing a lot of, of RWB not being able to get across fast enough for, the, for that one timer. If it's, if it's there, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for if they got that fast break, maybe a two on one. They're looking for that one timer because they're seeing on those fast breaks that RWB is just not fast enough going cross uh, crease post to post. As they go around, here's Entourage now, dancing his Henry up the slot, nice LT, and he's knocked off there. Here is Regs. Regs will handle it back in the, in the neutral zone, skating across over to Gabsy. Gabsy back to Regs. Regs lets her go, fake the drive, back to him again, intercepted by Entourage. And here's a dump in for Henry, back over in the corner. And back into the hands of Isles GT now. It's Fisher across Gabsy looking for something. Gabsy in back in forehand. The fiddle pass not through over the game of the regs. Intercepted there by Dowdy. A three on two. Dowdy left side. Dowdy pass. Oh, it didn't go. And Gilly couldn't slam on the rebound. Are you kidding me? The puck will deflect behind the goal. Back inside point chance. Ethan C. Patting away by RWB. And what a save by the netminder for Isles GT in that last sequence. And just absolute chaos in front. The pass got through. I'm not sure if the shot got towards the pad or not. There was tons of skates, tons of sticks in the lane. Havoc in the blue paint. This one tied up back off the face off. It's one for Isles GT. Over to Fisher now. Fisher looks. Fisher waits. Passes, fakes it back over to Grimm. Grim hangs on in the corner from in that left side. And he'll try and dish it across or take it himself. Something has got to give regs. No room back to Gabsy. A floater pass broken up there. And Gabsy racing in, trying to hit Gilly. And he takes it away. Grim to the point. Grim lets her go. That one deflects wide. Fisher now trying to float a pass through. Never got there. And he back across the entourage, dancing in his Dumoulin, and he lost the handle with a minute 15 to go in this period. It is one nothing for entourage, and they walk it across. Nice move, but not to be denied by the defense there for entourage. Again, almost taken away there by Gabsy. Gabsy trying to do everything he can. Gilly is offside as he tries to let that one in the zone. And you're seeing Isles control the boards in the offensive zone, but they're not getting towards the net. They're not attacking the net. Would like to see them find a way to get into that slot area. They've been keeping the puck out wide. Couple of far out shots, but they're still left off the board. They got to switch it up, find a way to get one through. Around they go. Downey, nice smooth to the front. It was knocked away. Here's a two on one. Grim, and that'll end the period. As after one, it is one to nothing for Entourage. All right, let's check back in with King Lime. We have our lone goal. You see Ethan C able to rip, or Gilly, excuse me, on the feed from Ethan C able to rip that one in. What do you see there in period one of game two? We're just goal there by Entourage, and they need to keep their foot on the pedal. This Isles gaming team has been known to come back and win games. We saw it earlier in the tournament with momentum, and there's a chance we can see it here, but Entourage just needs to keep going, playing the way they want to play. If they start sitting back and let Isles control, they're going to have a little bit of trouble. So if they keep playing their game, they should be all right, Chris. Absolutely right. So Entourage hanging on to the one nothing lead, but it's Isles GT, the one nothing series lead. Of course, Entourage looking to even the series up. This is a best of five. This is our NHL 23 launch tournament compliments of Anaheim Ducks. We are here in the finals. What a regular season it was, and it all comes down to this. Couldn't be a better storyline with Hendry leaving Isles GT, giving uh, Rick Kell the boot off his own club, rebranding as Entourage. Now both of these teams in the finals vying for that ducks title and it's only going to be even it's going to get even crazier this game is not over and we'll see what the third period has in store here across they go back inside for regs regs are walking they'll dump it into the corner now 
Battle ensues across the zone, moving on in. Right side for Dumoulin. He's level with a big body check as he's slow to get up. Here's a play for Isles across to McFlurry. McFlurry dancing in. Right side. Looks for some room now. Back in the corner. LT back behind that wrap around. Poked away by Dumoulin. And here's Entourage up the left side. Downey. Then to Henry. Nice LT spin. Downey the pass. Rebound. Oh, he couldn't slam it. As Ethan C with a perfect look. He just whipped on the shot. Across to Regs. Fisher trying to do something on the right side. Low shot deflected wide of the net. And here's a chance for Entourage. Pickpocketed by Regs and Isles will keep the play going in the neutral zone. Over the zone. Quick feed up back to McFlurry. Good feed over right side to Fisher. What a backhand for, for Regs. He couldn't slam it home. Rebound back over. Fisher corner back behind the net. Rebound in front. They score! What a pass! It's the connection! McFlurry! Hits oh, his man, man. Gabsy. And that was a strong, strong cycle out of Isles GT. And you saw behind the net, it was Mick Flurry baiting Dumoulin. Dumoulin took just an extra step to go defend the wrap. And that opened up the passing lane. Mick Flurry threading the needle to Gabsy far side. Able to knock that one in this game. All tied up. Oh, my. My, oh, my. What a game we have here. One to one. And seven minutes into the third, what a strike from Gabzi, what a pass from McFlurry. That connection has been on fire all postseason for Isles GT. And it has been an incredible pickup for them heading into this tournament. And it's been, uh, it's been giving them the opportunity to be where they are right now in this final. As Dowdy across the zone and Entourage trying to find a return answer for the tying goal. In the corner, Ethan C going in after it. Ethan C trying to cut through, and Fisher will take it away. A nice pass to nobody. It's intercepted there by Dumoulin, and Entourage will take it up the ice. On Dumoulin, floats it, floats it into the corner. Nobody there. It's Regs to pick it up. Back over to Grimm now. They walk it across blue ice. Fisher across. One timer blast from, from Gabsy. Never got through. Another chance. Fisher lets her go, and there's. Big save by Rampage here late in the third. Yeah, Rampage making that one look easy. Long range shot, not going to fool Rampage. I'll tell you what, though, Fisher, you talk about the tendencies. He knew Hendry was going to go after that dump, was able to block him off and allow Regs to get the clean scoop off the boards. Face off one back for Entourage. They'll skate it up the middle now. Here's a chance. Dowdy across. Here's Hendry now. Henry corner, Ethan C. Ethan C. Pons has never got through a chance for a three on two. Here comes McFlurry. Right side, pass shot, misses wide, and Fisher had a look there, and he just misses the post. Over the zone, back inside. What if he did Dowdy? Left side, Dowdy in the corner. Pass across to Ethan C. Save made by RWB. He'll get the whistle with 7.14 to go. Is Dowdy finding Ethan C. Ethan C. going to the backhand, coming back to the forehand, testing the short side. RWB ready for it all the way. Did not bite on what would be a pass across. Able to make that save. Back across. Here's Dumoulin now. Corner chance. He'll look for some room again. And the play back in the corner. Dumoulin sashays to Dowdy. Rister blocked in front. Clear down the ice. Six minutes to go. Third period. A 1-1 tie. And back into the zone is Dumoulin. Dumoulin left side. Top of the circle. Trying to finesse it. It's in the hands of Gabsy now. Gabsy! Backhand chance. Gabsy finds Fisher. I'm sorry, McFlurry. Back to Grimm now. Grimm waits. No shot from him. Finds a hole. Binds Fisher in the corner right side. Behind the net is McFlurry again. Back to Regs. 3.35 to go. Back to the point. Give and go. Regs hangs on. Regs again. Passes across. Gabsy! Oh, what a great save by Rampage on McFlurry! Another chance. Another denial. And a big save there. Chance for Gilly. A stretch pass. Henry couldn't slam it home. It goes back to the point. Dowdy again. Dowdy waiting with a puck in the corner now. Across the zone. They wait. Right side to left. Dowdy waltzes, takes it himself, comes to the front. They score! It's Henry with a minute far to go. And it's a 2-1 lead for Entourage in this one. And it was Dowdy driving left-hand side, sends that one into the slot, bounces off the skate. Who else? Hendry getting that go-ahead goal in the final minute, able to scoop up the loose puck and tuck in the backhand. 
as he gets his 13th goal of the playoffs, 32nd point in the playoffs here in game two. Wow. What a what an unbelievable sequence as we go from one end of the ice rampage making an incredible save on Isles GT. We go down. Dowdy makes an impressive effort continuing to handle puck handle, stick handle with the puck, carry it in the zone. And what a move. And Hendry, right place, right time, finds the rebound and just squeaks it past RWB to give them the lead late. Yeah, and Isles GT doubling up the time on attack to Entourage, much like we saw the reverse Entourage doubling up time on attack on Isles GT in game one. But it's Isles GT. They evened up with shots, not making the most of their opportunities, only having that one goal. We saw McFlurry the chance to get the go-ahead goal, just missed it on the short side. Hendry coming back the other way, the recipient of that bounce off the skate, able to tuck in the backhand. And now, looks like they're in the driver's seat going into the final minute. One minute to go, a shot blocked in front there. And a rush for Isle for Entourage. Big pocket by Gabsy. Gabsy across, here's Grimm over the blue line. No room to go. And it's back over. They dump it behind their own zone. 40 seconds. Dowdy controls. Heads up play by Dumoulin to make that play happen and get it back into his own zone. Gilly will clear to center ice. Here's Regs. Nice LT. Pa parks it. Here's Regs. Knocked away by the defense. And out of the zone. 23 seconds left. They dump it into the corner. Fisher charging after it. They chop it around. What a play. Gilly to center. Gilly will just flip it into the corner now. Slow roller. They got 12 seconds on the clock. Up the middle, skating wide. Right at an interception. They clear it down. Will RWB flittle? Will he take it? He's wasting too much time, and that will do it. Entourage will take a two. I uh, will know he'll tie the series at one game apiece. And what a game for Entourage getting back in this one. Yeah, Hendry able to get the go-ahead goal in the final two minutes for his club. And even the series up at one apiece. Nuge, thank you for the raid, buddy. If you guys are joining us, you are watching the finals between Entourage and Isles GT here in the Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament line. Let's bring you back in as Hendry able to get the upper leg on his former team. Yeah, well, you kind of said that. His, he was going to be out for blood in this game, Grizz, and was he ever? He came out and he put the dagger right in. It's a 1-1 one, one series tie here in the finals, and it couldn't have been written any better in this storybook. Hendry coming back, tying it up now. I'm so excited to see where this carries on to, Grizz. Yeah, two games in the books as we head to our game three. Will not be a 3-0 sweep as Entourage able to get in the winner's circle in game two. And Hendry had a lot of nice plays that didn't go in. It's the greaser that finds its way home nonetheless. Uh, guy was the recipient of that loose puck off the skate. I believe that was Regs not able to corral it in. Hendry right where he had to be to slam that one home and put his team on top in game two. Well, exciting hockey and nonetheless and chat make sure you guys are ready to get excited because we're going to pop over with a quick word from our sponsors and then that's right it's giveaway time hold on Welcome back. It is almost time for game number three at the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California. But we've got some duck swag and some golden arch cards for you guys. So uh, we might as well draw our second giveaway of the evening. We have four tonight. Exclamation point giveaway in the Twitch chat. We'll get you on the list. And in five, four, three, two, and quack. Let's see who we got here, guys. As Troby Trobes. Um, <laughs> well, man, you, there you go. You got yourself a win. Of he course. said he wasn't too excited. The, but The Buffalo <laughs> man himself. And Troby wins it. There it Let's is. Go, he's, he's, he's got to be excited now. So um, there you are. We will reach out to you if, if you DM the Anaheim Ducks 
there on Twitch will get in touch with you for that. So he's excited, and we're excited too, Grizz, as we've got big game three coming right up. Let me clarify, guys. You do not have to be here. He won. It, there's no rigged here. There's no funny business. Oh. He won. He won. He won. That's it. You know, you don't have to be here. So congrats to uh, <laughs> Travi for, uh, for the big win. That's right. It is a big W nonetheless. <laughs> you hear it from Grizz there. The guys love to give each other a hard time in the chat. But who is going to be giving the other team a hard time in this game? Miles win game one. Entourage wins game two. We're all knotted up at one. What are we going to see here in game three, Grizz? Yeah, so I think game three, we saw Isles bounce back. They did win game one, but not because they looked like the better team. It was actually Entourage that probably could have won game one. I think it was the opposite in game two. So maybe this game, Entourage starts out fast, but maybe Isles takes it back, as uh, that seems to be what we've seen in the first two games. The mm -hmm. team that maybe should have won didn't, uh, and that's how you have a 1-1 series. So love to see that, you know, uh, for both teams as well. So like I said, game one, you know, Entourage probably should have won. Game two, you know, Isles GT probably should have won. But nonetheless, the saves these goaltenders are able to make and turn the tide of the game gives their team a chance to win. Even if they're getting out shot, out to Wade, does not matter. End of the day, matters who has the most goals. And game two, that was Hendry putting his team on top. So game three coming your way shortly. That's right. And not a lot of goals uh, scored in these games. And we kind of expect that, don't we, Grizz? It's, these are going to be either goalie or defensive battles. It's maybe occasionally we get the blowout, but that's not what we're going to see here tonight. No, absolutely not. And we mentioned the goaltending. It was going to play a factor. Rampage, 855 save percentage, 1.28 goals against average. RWB, 869 save percentage, 1.08 goals against average. So uh, these goaltenders certainly living up to that so far. And, you know, uh, one nothing game one, a 2-1 game two. Goaltenders living up to their stats so far. And you're not wrong because uh, Dings makes a great, great uh, post in the chat. Rampage makes a huge saves at one of the ice and huge. leads to a game winning goal for entourage on the other. So any momentum saves lead to offensive chance leads to goals. And I got, you got to give your goal is a lot more credit than, than expected when it comes to these type of games here. Well, McFlurry had a number of chances late in that game. And he sailed a shot wide. Uh, Rampage made a fantastic save on the short side as well. So really for Isles GT, you had your chances. You couldn't beat the fantastic goaltender. And RWB did his job as well. He made a couple of really good saves. Hendry had numerous chances to score. Uh, nice chances to score. But again, I mentioned it was the greaser that found its way home. So still waiting for those really, really nice goals to come. I believe our teams have matched up. We'll bring you that here just in a couple of moments. As Lime, what do you think we're going to see? You heard from me in Davos. What do you expect to see here in game three? Yeah, it's going to be a lockdown game, I believe, here, Grizz. This is technically the swing game. This is the biggest game of a best of five. This is the one you really, really need to win. They can send you in either chasing or defending, and that's what either of these teams are going to want to do. They're going to want to go into game four with that 2-1 lead and give themselves two opportunities to close it out. Um, I think they're definitely going to be looking for McFlurry. He's been very, very good here in the tournament. When we were um, watching the other games previously, we were able to see see McFlurry score goal after goal after goal um, in the games we that weren't on the broadcast. So I think he's going to be a big play. And then Hendry, he's going to step up huge here for Entourage. He wants this probably more than anybody else with the E on their chest. So um, we're going to dive down into ice level here at the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California powered by Lee Gaming. Let's take you down to Davos. All righty, let's get things going. Game three, we had a so far very entertaining, very entertaining games for the first two. Well, we reached the point of where we're going to see just just everybody giving it 100%. Well, there will be back-to-back -back rushes, just FIFA World Cup-style gameplay here. We're going to find out as we bring it across game three, across to Isles GT. Uh, back in, back. Greg's to Fisher. Fisher dangles in back across the flurry to the point. Grab a shot. They score. The Flaking make flurry. And it's an early one lead for Isles GT in game three. 
you know, and I find myself saying this every single time we have a broadcast that in NHL 23, when your center is setting up shop along the hash marks, there's a good chance you get a clean tip goal on. That's exactly what McFlurry did. He found Grimm, went out to the slot just inside the hash marks, tips that one home. Isles GT starting out hot. Back across, we go in the corner. Here's Fisher back to rebound. Chance, loose puck in the save made by Rampage. And Ethan Steele dish it across the dancing play. Hendry to Gilly. A pass across. Dowdy controls for Entourage. Hook feet across the zone. Locking in. Shot. Save made RWB. Puck goes to the corner. And Grimm will take it across for Isles GT. Dancing wide up the middle. And they dump it into the corner now. Left side is picked up there by Fisher. Gives it back to Regs now. He'll quarterback the offense. Out. For a six and a half con in the first. Stolen by Gilly, a one on one. Gilly doesn't have the speed though, and he's easily caught from behind, but he keeps possession though. Ethan, see what a pass. The front shot save. Rebound puck loose there, and RWB had to be careful. Very in sight there. Three on two, dancing back with a feed knocked away by Entourage. And this one back up the zone. Up the middle now, dancing across the middle, dancing back to the point. And they dump it back behind the, their opposing net. And Dumoulin will carry it across the zone. Dancing wide. Back can a chance. Up the middle now. And it's picked off there by Isles. And there's Regs speeding ahead. Fisher down the right side. Fisher across. Not away defensively. And they dance in wide. And they will decide to regroup. It is Dumoulin for Entourage. It's going picked off there. And back to Henry. Either see nice spin. One-timer. On the back, a loose puck. It spinners to the crease. And it deflects wide. A three on two now. Here's Cabsy. Passes back. Nobody home. It was just too close. And they will be taking it away. Oh, the zone did wide back in the slot. There's Fisher up the middle now. Carrying it across as Gabsy. Gabsy backhand. And he threw it to the crease wide. Back to Fisher. Pass the front. Save rebound. Back in the corner. Real brown attempt. He what a pass! And it flurry does it again. And Gabsy oh. sending that one out in front. Big flurry on the forehand rips that one into the open cage. And Isles GT two goals on just four shots. And we'll see the pause taken as well from Entourage. And what a uh, you cannot imagine that cut. You talk about their chemistry. But my goodness, Grizz, what a setup for my net. Is Buckle asking me, did it hurt when I did the belly flop? Yes. Uh, my uh, my stomach was red for quite a while after that, not going to lie, but definitely worth it. Hey, if, it's a, if, it's a, if it's a competition winning belly flop, and, and you can do that. It's going to hurt. You're proud of it. Proud moment. All I know is I'll be back to defend my title. <laughs> when they go, they put it back. It's intercepted, but offside at the blue line by Hendry, and they'll go halfway here. Yeah, Hendry looking to keep that one alive. Just can't keep that puck across the blue line. Back to the neutral zone as Entourage looking to get themselves back on the board here as they're now looking down a 2-0 deficit, our biggest deficit we've seen so far through these three games. The zone back inside. Hendry, Dilly can't slam it over. McFlurry will take it across. Here's a rush down the lane, back in front, bounce, and they score! It's Ramsey! He took the bounce off the boards, and he stumps it at the side of the net. Oh, it made deflected. Oh, no, it went off Saudi in front. Are you kidding me? The lively boards, Gabsy, the recipient, just crashed in the net. And like you said, maybe friendly fire off of Dowdy. As Buckle says, how is he supposed to save that? <laughs> You're down 3 nothing. Uh, bad, bad part of that is there is two periods and five minutes left to go. So they try to get one before the end of the period. You know, doesn't look too bad. Unbelievable. We got tips and bounces. Three nothing for Isles. Will Entourage find a way to get one on the board here? They dump it into the corner. I know it's nice thing. Three ten to go, and this is just an absolute great first period as. All aisles here so far. You know, everyone's saying, how is Rampage supposed to save that? All I know, if that was Davos, he would have done one of those 
pad stack flips and would have found a way to magically save it for no reason. Or I just can't love the uh, diving cross ice path like animation and just like do the contortionist. <laughs> <laughs> but potentially stolen away, Gabsy up the middle life. And Gabsy saved by Rampage. And an unbelievable man denied there. Up the zone, he'll walk it across the blue line, taking it in. Rebound back to the point. Carlos hands up back in. Loose at the side of the net. Miller hands in front. And that one will deflect wide. Up the middle now. Shot denied. Rebound to the corner. And a rush for Fisher as we end the first period of play. All right, we got some goals on the board, Lime. How are you feeling after our first period? Well, Grizz, we talked about it before the game. We were right about one thing and wrong about another. We were definitely right about McFlurry coming out up top. He comes out, he has a big tip three minutes in just after we were talking and scores again at the seven minute mark to make it two nothing. And then Gabs comes in to make it three. So obviously a pouring on here by uh, the Islanders led by McFlurry. What I was wrong about is I wasn't expecting to see so many goals. You know, we has saw us so much tight hockey in game one and game two and now um things are opening up a little bit what do you think but well, we're gonna get a good look at how this goal went in yeah that's tough yeah off of dowdy Dow well so you see dowdy crashed into his own goaltender he got that stumble because he kicked him in the pad and just unfortunately goes off that right skate and in and if you're rampage you're just saying buddy get out of my crease he says because my you know, can't mess with that as uh, makes an unbelievable play there. As we begin the second period, they're underway in this one. Up the zone, they walk it into the corner now, dancing wide. Rister and a save by RWB, and he'll get the whistle to start the second period. Long range shot, looking for Ethan C on the tip, sitting up around those hash marks. But a better save there from RWB, able to keep them off the board thus far. Across they go back and face off for Isles GT. Back across they go into the zone and they'll walk it in. And Dumoulin will carry it across the zone. Up the zone, back inside, walking free. Back to Dowdy at the point. Return feed down. Dumoulin passed. Rebound saved by RWB. Back at the point now. Dowdy to Hendry. Back to Gilly intercepted. A two-on-one breakaway. Here comes Fisher. Breaking spin around and he lost the handle. A cross back to Hendry now. Entourage intercept in the back check. And here's uh, here's Gabsy. Gabsy across McFlurry now. McFlurry to the corner. Pass to the front. Poke checked away. Rebound. Save made. Another chance. And score. Another goal for Gabsy. And wow, are you kidding me? The rebounds are getting the puck back. No chance for that one on Rampage. It's four. Nothing for Isles. Man, I did not expect this out of IGT here in game three. And Rampage made two really nice saves there. But left alone in the slot was Gabsy finding that far side into the empty net. And this one is all Isles GT. They lead for nothing. And the face off goes back into the defensive zone for Isles, and they're up by four in the second period. Up the middle, carrying it wide. Here's McFlurry behind, wrapped around, faking it. Fisher to frags a shot, blocked in front defensively. Up the zone, they carry it across, and they'll dump it back in the corner, back for Fisher, and or, sorry for Hendry, knocked away, and McFlurry will skate it right side and left. He'll dance his way to the front. He'll spin off one check back inside. McFlurry to the point now for Grimm. Grimm started the show with a shot from the point to flank it in by McFlurry. And it's been three more. And round the back down left side. Picked up there by Dumoulin. Dumoulin across the zone. And they'll walk it off the zone. They dump it in off the backboards. And RWB will cover at the side of the net. And this is a case of getting a fortunate bounce and then the blood in the water and just going for it. And every once in a while, you'll see a game much like this where it seems like you can't do any harm and every bounce finds its way in. We saw that goal going off a of Dowdy, uh, the goal off the boards, et cetera, et cetera. And Niles GT enjoying the four nothing lead. A rush dancing in Gabsy. Gabsy loses the handle of the puck. It's back into the hands of entourage. They'll skate it across the zone and offside will be called here. 
with 9.32 remaining in the second. Yeah, not on the same page there. I think it was Ethan C just a step over the blue line and nothing going right on one side, everything going right on the other side. Um, but, you know, game's still not over. Plenty of hockey left to be played. If you can get one now, there's still a chance. Half of the game gone, half the game to go. Up the middle, skating and wide, back checking, another offside penalty coming up. It'll go against a McFlurry, and it'll be a power play for Entourage. Power play for Entourage. Time to get yourself on the board here. Cut into that deficit. We saw the power play numbers earlier in the game, uh, earlier in the series, excuse me, and we'll see if they can go to work here on the power play. And the puck goes back inside, fiddles it to the corner now. Here's a play of the zone, pass to Ethan C, and a shot from Hendry goes wide. Back in the corner now, they fiddle it behind, left side behind the goal, picked up there. Over the zone, and a right race up the middle now. They skated in. Behind the net, circling behind, give and go, and the regs will clear it, but it's upside, picked up by Dowdy, and we still have some second time to go. Yep, still time to go as Jordan in chat. We're thrilled with their play and dedication so far. Always nice to see the Isles representing well. He's off in the corner now. Give and go. He walks it in. A shot save made by RWB. Rebound goes to the corner now. Back inside. Taking a time. Glove save and a dandy made there by the goaltender. And we got still plenty of time to go. Second period, still a 4 0 lead in all aisles. But a good chance for Entourage to get back in this game. Yeah, nice give and go. Same side, one timer from there. Gilly able to get a little bit of separation. Just a better save tracking that one down from RWB, who has been fantastic here tonight. A loose. Oh, my. What a pass back over. Here's Riggs, a pass. That one to flex wide, not didn't get the look he wanted there. Here's a rush for Ethan C. Back to Gilly, and it's another, another offside for Entourage here as we start to get into the late stages of the, of the second period. And once again, back to the neutral zone we go, and just not able to get any sustained pressure, sustained momentum. Uh, the offside's really starting to break the game down, slow it down a little bit, as Isles GT still enjoying that 4 nothing lead. This one back in the corner, across the zone they go. Walking in back slot, and they'll carry it across and Rice. Give and go, Fisher now. Fisher up the zone. He'll take it wide. Nice feet across. Here's Dumlin dancing in. Nice play. Save RWB with the whistle there, and he'll get a brilliant stop out of that one. And RWB again. I mentioned he's been fantastic. And <laughs> Archon says no. I'm signing with Isles GT. As uh, we'll see about that, buddy. I don't know if uh, Jordan might have something else to say, but we'll see. Some back in the corner, dancing and wide, a break. Here's a chance. Oh, what a great save by Rampage on Riggs. The breakaway, the diving poke check, and a brilliant chance. Denial by Rampage. And it's the D-man getting on his horse, getting into the action. Riggs with a breakaway, a better save. Rampage flying out of his crease, getting the flying poke. As Holsey doing the DDW impression with the RWB. <laughs> Across they go back. Ethan C. A one point lead score. Not in 20 from Gilly. And they're finally on the board here late in the second. Gilly lets that one timer go. And Hendry there starts that with the zone entry. Drops it back to Ethan C. Ethan C. Finding Gilly on that one time laser. Entourage now on the board. It's Gilly. His 13th of the playoffs. Around they go back in the corner. It is a rush and a pass. And then Regs didn't like the look. He'll regroup in the defensive zone. And they're walking in. Here's Fisher back in across McFlurry now. Pass back away defensively by Dowdy. And Dowdy will take it around the middle now. Skating in on the back end of the forehand. Dumoulin now lost the handle. Regs back to Dowdy across they go. He shoots and deflects wide. End of the period as we have a 4-1 game. But the buzzer, I wanna thank Polgs for the big boy raid, 78 viewers dropping on in. Hey, Lime, you wanna tell the viewers that are just joining us what they're tuning into? 
Hello, everybody from Polg Stream. Thank you, Polgs. This is the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California. We are in the finals entourage going against the Isles gaming team. And right now, the Isles have just been putting on a little bit of a clinic. Entourage able to get a goal there late. Grizz, same amount of shots, but it is the Isles gaming team that is just pouring it on right now, isn't it? Yeah, and shot total? Pretty similar. Goal total, mm -hmm. not quite a three-goal yeah. lead for Isles GT. Finding success, like I said, a couple of uh, fortuitous bounces gone their way. It's kind of that blood-in-the-water effect where, you know, you really feel that ice tilt. EA, they're going to say there's no ice tilt, but uh, certainly there are there was a momentum swing early for Isles GT. Entourage, able to stop the bleeding, get on the board themselves. So now down by three. We'll see what they have here in the third. And here we go, third period underway in this one. And the puck goes back in the zone, back across. Here's a chance for Regs knocked away. Over the zone, back for Dowdy. Dowdy hangs on to it. Over the middle, they walk it into the corner now. There's a feed. Ethan T back across, two one now. As a front, he can't get the shot away. Cleanly bank shot off the back of the net. It is grim for Isles GT to hang on to it. Loose puck side then you'll pass a nice pass to Gabsy. And he lost the handle as he tried to speed it through the defender. And this one is down into the corner. His regs back across to Grimm. Grimm up the zone, dancing a pass, and he can't get the backhander away. They have went off of rampage, but not cleanly on goal that time. Back to regs now. Reg aided in on the right side. He stops up. Looks for an outlet pass over the zone, back in pass over the middle. Great save and a beauty by Rampage as it goes out of play. And just following Chad as Latang says, Regs is touching his screen. You see him got the way far in lean and line counters with it's how he wins games. So close he can taste it. <laughs> Across they go back in the corner. It is McFlurry in the corner. Cabsy leveled in the right side area. Around the zone, here's a chance for Hendry up the blue line. Nice spin and back across. Jumpliff shot. What a save on Gilly. RWB getting a pad down. Another chance side of the goal. Bringing in. It did not go. Loose puck again. Power play for Entourage as they'll go out another power play here. And you remember when I said Hendry leading with uh, penalties drawn? He's going to continue that one as he gets his sixth penalty drawn of the playoffs. Over the zone, they march it in. Back across is a rush. Fisher will just clear it out off time against Entourage here. Yeah, clearing it just far enough to go off sides on the play. Coming back to the neutral zone. And, you know, if Entourage can find a way to make this too, still plenty of time left here in the third. Over the middle, skate wide. It goes down the ice. And it is picked up there. And down the wing they go. Across the middle here is a chance. Henry dropping it back to Dowdy. Dowdy, nice play. They score. It's down 4-2. Another power play goal. And Ethan C. gives on Taraj the two-goal cushion. Or I'm sorry, they're within two now. And there is still life in Entourage here. Yeah, and it was Dowdy. Finding Hendry on the zone entry. Drop pass back to Dowdy. Hendry started to open up. He drew pressure. He drew two Isles GT defenders. That opened up Ethan C for his 24th goal of the playoffs on the power play. And what a game so far. Surely, dude. Two. Surely not a comeback just yet. Mm. Cutting into the deficit. Now they trail by two. Still plenty of time left to go. 11.53 here in the third. Can they do it? Let us know in chat. Who do you want to see win this game? And there's still plenty of action, plenty of time left. Hendry across, taken away by Ethan C. Back to Dowdy again in the zone. He'll walk it over the middle now, dancing wide. Back in the corner is a stolen puck and a race for the puck. It's picked up by Dowdy as he saw Dumlin having trouble there. He'll dump it in, skips off the board, back inside. Grim for Isles across to Gabsy. Then Fisher now walks in. Fisher chance. Right side, pass to the corner for McFlurry. McFlurry rims it around. Poke check keeps things going, but not far enough. A rush for Hendry now. Dancing wide up the middle. Dancing. Ethan, he lost the puck in the stick. 
And a rush here for Isles across to Gabsy. Gabsy not able to get the handle on the puck across the goal. Here's Dumoulin's entourage skating in. Back in the corner now. Over for Downey. Downey gets over the blue line. Then he poked it away, but they keep things going. Ethan C. Back across. Locked in front defensively. And they've taken away down the wing. Here's Gabsy on the foot race. What a spin, and he lost the handle. Oh, they march on. Dancing across the blue line, offside will be called again. Entourage yet again. Man, I'm really enjoying the chat right now with uh, Boosh and Gruel. But man, Entourage, they're coming. Isles GT, they're sitting back a little bit. Entourage starting to get that momentum to swing in their way. They can feel the comeback. They're down by just two. But uh, man, Gabsy almost had a fantastic opportunity to walk around Dowdy. Not quite unable to get a shot off. And up the zone they go, dancing wide, right side. What a poke kick there by the defense of Gabsy. Back in the hands, back the point. Here's uh, Dowdy, a shot in that one ever. Just deflected off the goalie as it may have hit somebody in front. And a bouncer to Fisher. Fisher, maybe a two-on-one. Fisher, backhand, they score! It's a Gabsy play in second of the game. And it's 5-2 to two for Isles GT. And it was in transition. It was Fisher getting the better of Dumoulin, having enough space, waiting up. Gabsy crashed in the net, finding a way to open up, hammer that one home for the Hattie. It is five to two. Gabsy his 16th goal of the playoffs. And they dump it in. It skips off and ahead it goes to Gilly. Gilly not in enough room. They skip it to center right. Less than two minutes to go in the third. And they walk it across the blue line. It's picked up there by Dowdy. Over for Hendry now, skating in, back in front, loose puck, and Ethan C couldn't slam on the chance there. They will walk it across. It goes back and skips out of the zone with another penalty coming up against Isles GT. And a race here. Quick strike over to Ethan C. Ethan C, nice back shot. Best thing was that one was Gilly, the one timer, and they will touch up for the penalty. I'll tell you what, Davos, that was open, just whistling. That laser beam of a one-timer just wide of the net. Wouldn't be surprised to see Gilly get a one-time goal here on the power play. Flush back, point chance over for Dumoulin. They're pulling the goalie. Extra skate coming on. Back to the side, turning around, knocking me. Kicked up by Rags. And Rags will just loft it down the ice. It's picked up by Dumoulin. All extra skaters out on the ice. Here's Ethan C. Ethan C passes back. Dumoulin wait. Back in in front. And it skips off a couple players back inside. Ethan C. Short side chance. Denied there. Post. And here's Dumoulin now sashing the front pass. And a denial there. Backhand from the goaltender. Goes wild. As WB joins the rush. And I think it's five seconds to go. Four seconds. They jump around. Loose puck in the paint. And they will clear as that will do it. As it will be a 2-1 series lead for Isles GT. And they have one chance they are now in that golden opportunity window of ending this period. Niles GT, they got outshot. It did not matter. Shots 13 to 11 in favor of Entourage, but it's Isles GT taking the 5 to 2 win. They started the game up 4 0. Entourage came back with two of their own, making the game 4 to 2. And then Gabsy able to seal it with the dagger on the hat trick line. Welcome back. What do you see in that game? I thought Entourage was making their way. It was uh, a lot of goals there by Isles up 4 nothing, And like you said, Entourage got half of the way back, but it was Isles that ended up putting one in the back of the net, that dagger to make it 5-2. And that does it for Game 3. And we're going to be moving on to Game 4. But guys, we have more giveaways for you. That's right. Exclamation part. Uh, sorry, exclamation point giveaway in the chat if you haven't already. And we'll run a giveaway right after a word from our sponsors. joined by Henry. He scores! Trevor Zegras, overtime, game winner! Grant, front for again, the score! Rebound, by Mason McCabe! There's that shot from Frank Petrano! 
Welcome back, everybody. This is the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California, powered here by League Gaming. I'm joined by uh, Davos and Grizz, and we have game number four coming right up, don't we, Grizz? We absolutely do. It will be our first elimination game of the night. Cannot wait to see what Entourage can do now that their backs are against the wall. It's do or die for Hendry and the boys. It is, and Hendry is really going to want to win this game and push it to a game five, but he's got a massively talented Isles team that is really clicking right now, aren't they? They certainly are, and the last two games, they started out red hot and never looked back in that last game. Uh, they couldn't find a way to hold on to the lead in the game prior, but last game, certainly just running away with it. Yeah, they definitely did four goals uh, unanswered. We didn't really expect to see that here, Grizz, but we do expect to see a giveaway in the chat. That's right. Here we go. A $25 arch card, including a piece of swag from the Anaheim Ducks. And we will be giving that away in five, four, three, two, quack. And our giveaway is going to go to is. Zayner 93. 93. So Zayner 93, you can DM the Anaheim Ducks on Twitch or we will get in contact with you. You do not need to be here to win. No rigs, no re-rolls. As Grizz says, no funny stuff. This is all real. I don't think I've ever said no funny stuff. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll roll with it. Uh, uh, nonetheless, and congrats on the win. Like you said, does not matter if he's not here. You won. It's all that matters. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it doesn't matter. Nonetheless, he is the winner. So uh, game number four is coming right up, and it is a do or die for Entourage. Their backs are against the wall, and the Isles gaming team are going to look to wrap this up as soon as they can. Uh, Davos, do you think we're going to stretch to a game five? Oh, man, it, it all depends how Entourage reacts to this loss. Again, we talked about Isles and, and how they handled game two. They came to game three, first shot on goal. They came out firing, inspired, and they got the big goal early. They kept on peppering a uh, rampage. So I expect and they got to get to the game plan. They got to start finding ways to open up Gilly for that one timer because we saw in game three that that can be a definitely a useful tool for them when he finds open space. So some guys have got to step up, play well defensively and offensively, contribute when they can, and that is the whole shebang for Entourage to try and tie the series up. All right, we get a little insight from the GOAT Davos. Grizz, before we get into this one, are we going to see a game five tonight? Yeah, yeah. I'm going coin flip in five. I am staying that course. Uh, Isles GT, they certainly look good, and if they can replicate that, Good chance to win it in four, but Entourage, too talented of a team to roll over. They're going to force five. Yeah, I, I would have to say they're going to force five as well. So from Entourage, is it going to be Ethan and Hendry that are putting the puck in the back of the net to force a game five? Or is it going to be McFlurry and Gabs who are going to be signing that check for six thousand dollars for first place that's right one of these teams tonight is going to be walking away with six thousand dollars the other team going to be walking away with two not as much but still definitely something to take away from this and the anaheim ducks nhl 23 launch tournament presented by mcdonald's of southern california powered here by lee gaming it's time here davos let's send it down to ice level all right let's get things going here folks as we have another doozy of game number four with a 2-1 series lead for Isles GT. They look to put this game and this series away in this next game. I know they do not want to be forcing a game. They do not want to be playing a game five against Entourage, no doubt. As we have the puck drop across the zone and we are underway in game number four. It is Isles GT and Entourage. Entourage wearing the reds. And around the goal they go. Up the middle now, skating away with a purpose. Up the middle now, they take it across the blue line. And they will dump it into the corner now. Across the zone. Over the middle, they take it wide. Here's a rush now for Entourage. He'll take it around the net, back inside. Ethan C couldn't find the handle. Up the middle, finding a lane. 
They walk it into the corner now. Behind is Gabsy. Gabsy trying to wrap it around. Didn't go the way he wanted to. And it goes ahead for Dowdy. Dowdy up the middle taking a shot. A stop there by RWB. That one will deflect wide across for, uh, for Regs. Regs marches on. Back to the slot. Nobody home. Back to Fisher. He'll pick it up. A backhand chance deflected wide. Over the zone. They march their way through. Dowdy trying to find a lane to work with. Dowdy ahead for Dumoulin. Then finds Gilly. Gilly cuts the left. Back to Dowdy. He spins off one. Then to Hendry in the corner. Kick it wide. McFlurry will handle it in the aisles. GT will get back into the lane. Across the zone. It's poke check. And back into the hands of Entourage. Dancing wide. Another turnover there. They'll walk it over the middle. Here's Isles. Neutral zone. Quick speed over. McFlurry had it and he gave it away. Henry up the middle now. Dancing wide is Gilly back to Henry. Point chance. Ethan C. And a short side save by RWB. Back to Downey. One timer stopped again on Henry. And the cover is there. Uh, and for the third game in a row, it's Isles GT getting that first offensive zone possession. First chance at offense. But now. Entourage was able to weather the storm. Offensive zone face off for them. Around the net, back inside. They walk it to the point. And then Regs will hang on to it as they got it around the net. Here is a chance across for Fisher now. Fisher corner around, and they dump it around to the right side for Dumoulin. Dumoulin across, knocked down again, picked off again by Entourage as the puck has been just changing hands back and forth. Over Dumoulin, a pass that was looking for Ethan C. Never got to him. Around the net. They walk it across the blue line. They skate in with a purpose. Waiting in the wings. Cutting back in the corner now. Over the zone. Behind the net is McFlurry. McFlurry hits the right side for Regs. Back in front for Fisher. Pass in front. A chance there. Rebound to the slide. They knife it away. Regs finds his man, but not enough. And here comes Henry leading a rush down the wing. Henry, wrap around. Never got through. As that one will deflect wide of the net. And a race here. Fisher now. Fisher lost it off a of poke check. And they'll take it around. Back inside over. Dumlin skating in. Lost it off a of poke check. And McFlurry will hang on to it for Isles GT. Over the zone, they will take it down. It's knocked away by Ethan C. And here is a rush up for Dowdy. Then to Hendry. Down the left side. Hendry trying to work it to the front. And he just mishandled. Lose the puck there. Dumlin slot chance. Dumlin passes it. Nobody home again. Hendry battling. And a chance side of the goal. They couldn't slam it home. Back to Dowdy again. Rinster. That one will deflect wide. Loose puck again. Hendry short side. And a snap there by RWB. A mad frenzy. And the last first period of the long period here for uh, for Entourage, and they have not been able to get enough shots on goal. Might be in for quite the chess match here. Is almost through one period. Nothing on the board. Much different than the last game we watched. And they will let her shot go, and that one right into the glove of RWP with the whistle here. And again, a lot of puck possession, a lot of cycling for Entourage. They're just not able to get shots on goal. A lot of them have been partially deflected or blocked away. This one is cleared down into their own zone. Picked up by Dowdy for Entourage. Up the left side to the right. It is Dumoulin skating in. Dumoulin across. And he'll wait for the corner chance. Grimm will pick it up with time expiring here in the first period of a scoreless 0-0 tie. They get a one last dump in the corner now. Fisher loose puck in the paint. He stand with a score. Fisher takes the bounce. It goes right through the crease. And it's one nothing for on for Isles GT to start game four. I'm not gonna say Nuge called it. But Nuge called it. I believe it was Nuge that's er no. Who said it? Maybe Twistified. Someone said it was RNG time. It was Twist. My apologies, not Nuge. It was Twistified, said it's RNG time. There you go, getting the bounce in the crease. Nobody could get a handle on it. Fisher coming up with his 10th goal of the playoffs at the buzzer. Ooh. How about RWB keeping his club in it with a couple of fantastic saves there, Lime? 
RWB. That's right, Grizz. Big saves by him. And well, what a game. Fisher coming in and scoring with a little bit of a messy play in front of the Entourage goaltender Rampage. A little hard for him to track that one down. It ends up getting on the stick of Fisher, and he makes absolutely no mistake. But you heard it from Davos there while he was calling. Very little shots here on Entourage's side. They definitely need to put the puck in the net a little bit more, but it is going to be a chess battle uh, between these two teams as we get a second look at this. It's unbelievable how this bounces up goes off of i believe mcflurry's <laughs> stick is everybody wow. is a group hug before it goes in it was, <laughs> i've never seen that before where a team celebrates before the puck goes in you see everything here at these great esports tournaments take it away Devin. excellent insight uh lime thank you so much for the intermission report second period underway in a one nothing lead for isles gt off a crazy last ditch goal to end the first and of almost a breakout pass there intercepted what a heads up play by doom one there as lookout was gabsy looking for that stretch pass around the net they go they cut into the corner now back around to the point for greg's rags hangs on to it rags will look around finding a lane finding somewhere to put the puck Behind the net they go. McFlurry boxed out there by Dowdy. Dowdy finds Henry. Henry gives it over to Ethan C. He'll take it. Ethan C. Nice move. And a save there by RWB. And the puck is in now for Fisher now. He'll take it on the left side. Right side to the point now. Regs. Regs shoots. Save made by our by Rampage. And he will get the whistle. Yeah, Rampage not letting that one out. Two Isles GT members swarming him right around the blue paint. Not going to risk a dunk here. Defensive zone faceoff coming up here for Entourage. Faceoff right on here. Back over for Dowdy and Entourage will take it across the blue line. He'll take it up the middle now. Left side. Poke checked away and defensively. And Isles has been on, I've been on point to start off offside as Dowdy trying to dance away around the defense and, and you know have it stop. we've still only seen that dump attempt from Dowdy to Hendry off the boards just one time in this series so far and that shocks me as striking especially when you have the active sticks in the lane like you do from both of these clubs as that one kicked just out of the crease over the zone back here is McFlurry McFlurry dancing a short side attempt knocked away by Entourage a long clap here's a two on one dancing is Gabsy what a poke check what a play by Isles to clear it down and this will be icing against Isles GT what a fantastic defensive stop from Grimm looked like that pass might have had a chance to get through but active stick in the lane attacking the puck carrier at the point of attack you got to do it. Pressure them into mistakes. Pressure them into turnovers. That's what they did there. A shot on goal. Blocked away to the corner now. Gabsy. Poke check. No, he's tripped up. No, he did not trip him up. He fell down, apparently. Across the zone they go. And back into Regs' hands as Henry got pickpocketed. And Regs will dance around one man. They'll tuck and take it across. Back over to Fisher now. Fisher from behind the net, circling wide with the puck. 1 0 for Isles GT. In this one, Fisher across, Charlie score! What a feed, Fisher to McFlurry to Gabsy, and he will make no mistake. One timer beats Rampage. We're tied at one or no two, nothing. I'm sorry. Taking that one down out of the left side, climbing up into the slot and down across, drawing it up is Isles GT chemistry on full display. The tic tac toe, Gabsy. I believe that's his second of the game, 17th goal of the playoffs. That's 2 0, 2 0. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting confused, and I don't want to get confused. It's 2 0 <laughs> Isles GT in this one. I apologize, chat. Around the net, and it's broken up there by Dowdy. Entourage up the zone and cutting across the zone back inside. What a feed. Ricochets wide of the net. And taking around, poke checked away, got it back to Fisher. Fisher across over for McFlurry. And McFlurry loses the handle and gets it back at two on one. Across, what a save! Rebuild, they score! Gabsy with the game, and it's 3 nothing. Oh my heavens.
And a clean two-on-one. Dowdy attempting to block the passing lane. Unable to do so. But Rampage made the first save. But could not make the second as Gabzi held up. Skated his way back into shooting position. Finding the short side chance. Gabzi, 18th goal of the playoffs. And Isles GT running the way with this one again. Up 3-0. And a two-on-one, he, he gets across with the pad save. And he just, I don't know, he gave him, went off the post a little bit, gave him just enough room to tuck it right over his shoulder. And no chance for Rampage on the rebound. And again, he probably thought on the back of his, back of his mind, he's thinking that he's probably going to pass it back. But goes short side, three nothing lead. Rebound, they score! Oh my goodness, was that deflected in by Hendry? As Hendry blows by his defender on the wing, swings that one back to the point, and he cuts towards the net. Hendry wide open on the pass, tucks that one in, short side. 3-1 Entourage, not rolling over just yet. He, it was a slap shot animation it looked like it was a clean. tip for a second my yep, goodness that was play. the the clean swing around no chance rwb is on the other side of the net in an open 180 open no scope <laughs> unbelievable as we have a grizz dad sighting in the chat and games are going well games are going well it's been very very exciting very interesting and an absolute thriller right now. 3-1 back inside as Entourage trying to fight back with five minutes or less to go. Second period of action in game four. Across they go. They dump it in. They'll squib into the corner now. Picked up by, by uh, left side for Hendry. Hendry back to Dowdy. Dowdy will walk it in. Over the zone. Gilly walks a pass. They score! What a play! Goal number two in back-to-back -back shots for Hendry, and he buries the backhander on RWB, and it's a, now a one-goal right. game. All right, Hendry saying, oh, no, not if I have anything to say about it, as Regstick was in the lane, but Hendry fought right through that and found a way to tuck that one home. He's got two back-to-back -back goals. Across, and it is Isles GT now. They're up by one, trying to hang on here. Around for Fisher. Fisher cutting in. Pass shot deflected wide of the net. Loose puck in the corner. Back inside. Rebound side of the goal. Picked up by Hendry now. We'll skate across the neutral zone. They'll take it around right side. Offside is Dumoulin on the play. And Entourage roaring right back. They're trying to push this thing to five. And three nothing deficit. Hey, it doesn't matter. They cut that down to one on the heels of Hendry. Making a couple nice cuts in front of the net. It's been a, it's been a, a, they're trying to make the play happen, but it just doesn't work out. But here's Dumoulin, the poke check back to Dowdy. Dowdy, 35. Dowdy, a shot, ricochets off a couple of skates in front. Loose puck side of the goal. They sweep it away. And here is Gabzi, left side to middle. He cuts through. Gabzi, save Rampage as he does not move off the post. And we will head to the third period. And Isles is up by one as it's three to two now. Yeah, just waiting, hopefully trying to stick in that short side. Art, uh, excuse me, uh, Rampage Whoa. not giving anything up. There's a good look at Hendry's goal. So let's bring Lyme in. Lyme, Hendry, he scored two. You think he gets the third to tie this game up? This is going to get very, very interesting as we get into the third period. We thought this was going to be all Isles as they came out and got that third one. The timeout obviously worked. You could see the frustration in Hendry's face and the camera on the left-hand side. And then, bang, he comes out with a massive, great pass from his defenseman on the cut play to score the first one. And then he comes out and gets a second one, which is now giving his team an opportunity to stretch this to a game five, Chris. Absolutely right. And they're going to have to dig deep. They are still down. Hey, they, the comeback, not complete just yet. And even if they tie the game, you still got to win to force game five. So we are not at the end of the race just yet. Isles GT looking to hang on and clinch their title here. It's the third period of game four. Will we have a, a climactic ending for you guys in this one? It's still 3-2 for Isles GT. Shoots! Big save, Rampage. And this one goes wide of the net. It's cutting across. Here's a play of the zone. Here's a rush. Down he shoots. Save made by 
RWB as Hendry was looking for the hat trick goal. And that was a sneaky good save from Rampage that easily could have ended up in the back of the net, giving his team an opportunity here. Despite giving up the three goals, you still got to play the rest of the way so they can try to tie this one up. And the tie-up is picked up by Isles across for Regs. Regs up the middle now, skates in, LT, Spinorama got the puck through. Regs to Fisher on the right side, oh, Fisher across, a bouncer in front! And the shot was never through. And the bat goes wide over the corner now. Here's a play McFlurry to the point for Grimm. Grimm passes wide, bouncer over for Fisher, didn't go. And the rush is on. Here's Dumoulin across for Entourage. Hits Hendry in stride. Ah, the puck was lost. It's a break now for Gabsy. Gabsy lost in his stick lifted. And Dumoulin came back and made a great defensive play there. Around the zone, they cut back in, picked off by Grimm. Isles on the move, they scrub it down, pad it away, and, uh, and passed right back to his defense. And here is Entourage. Dumoulin will skate in neutral zone full steam. Again for Hendry. LT is back to Ethan C. He got leveled in the corner. McFlurry finds a lane. Maybe a rush here for Isles. Here comes Fisher now. Back in. Never got the shot away, though. Rebound to the corner. Back over to the left side. Here's the chance. Gabs. He lets move behind the net. Nice play for Fisher now. Point chance for Rags. He shoots. Save made. No tip in front, though. It goes wide again. Dancing on the play. And they will take it back into their own zone there. A dump in left side. Here's Fisher now. They pin him along the boards. It's picked up by Henry. Henry up on fakes it. And they, Ethan C. Couldn't slam it home as they were going back door for that easy backdoor passing one timer play. And Ethan C. just couldn't get a shot on goal. Intercepted. Here comes Gilly. A two on one. And Gilly denied by Graham on a good defensive play. Across they go up the zone. They march on. This one offside, and we finally get a stop. It's 8.49 to go, and what a period so far. And he just took way too long. He had Hendry cutting towards the net wide open. Gilly never let the pass go, allowed Grimm to get in good defensive position to end that opportunity. And a penalty coming up here, and a power play for, oh no, it is Hendry. It is a power play for Isles, and this could be huge. So Hendry, he has two goals, but now he's going to go sit for two minutes or less. And this also could be an opportunity for the dagger for Miles GT. Oh, no, shorthanded. Here's another two-on-one. It's Dowdy, and it's Gilly. Dowdy, Gilly, pass! Save me there by RWB. It goes wide over the left side. Here's McFlurry skating in. Back to the point. Goes to Rags now. Rags dancing wide. Pass a shot. Saved by Rampage. Rebound side of the goal to give it back to the point now. Rags again with room. Rags corner trying to jam it home on the short side. Puck is going to bounce up in the air. Another shorthanded rush. It's Doom one now. Doom one walks in to pass to Gilly. Save made there by RWP. Gilly and on the short side. RWP had the answer. Up the middle now, taking it wide. Fisher, nice hesitation. Fisher to the front shot. Rebound. And that one couldn't go. Dowdy, what a heads up defensive play to to just box him out and make him not get the puck and make it very hard for the rebound. Back to Doom One, he lost the handle. Doom One's got a speed back with 5.15 to go. Third period, it's crunch time here, folks. And they walk it across. Poke checked away by the defense of Gabsy. Out of the box, full strength, and a chance. Ethan C can't get the shot away. Rebound bank shot, and it's returned back over to Fisher now, Fisher. Has McFlurry going, McFlurry chance, McFlurry! Oh, what a great save by Rampage on the two on one. And that is huge. A chance down the corner, they walk it into the play. It is Ethan C across the zone. Here's a rush down, they scrub it into the corner now. Dowdy lost the handle. It's back to the point, here's Henry Lutcher go! It got blocked away and is back down the ice. They got a minute 30 to go in the period. The puck bows back to center. Dumoulin will scrub it and flip it in the corner off the boards. Dancing. It is Hendry. Hendry lost the puck. It's back to the line. It's scribbed out. This will be icing. No, it won't. It's going to get picked up by John, by Gabsy. Loose puck side of the goal. Man, Gabsy looking like a spring chicken out there with that speed. 
Across the zone, they dump it into the corner, back inside, here's Dowdy across, Dowdy the pass, and a great save, make it two, loose puck in the paint, they can't slam it home, RWB with a couple of dandies, they dump it around the cage, 30 seconds to go. They give it back across the zone, here's Doom one now center right, Doom one across to Henry, Henry over to Ethan T, what a play, they cleared out of the zone, Fisher, what a play by Doom one to stop the rush, and here's, oh my goodness, McFlurry, what a play, what a, you know, what a strip play at the, at the corner boards. And they got eight seconds to go. One last chance. Has a cross. Skelly there. Intercepted. And Isles GT are going to win the Anaheim Ducks tournament. They are your champions on one last good defensive play. Isles GT, congratulations. What a story. Hendry leaves Isles GT after consecutive numerous semifinals losses. Isles GT not happy with the semifinals losses either. Hendry regroups with Entourage. Entourage wins the CBJ championship. Then Ooh. now, Isles GT meeting Hendry in the finals. Isles GT now on top. Their first championship, the first of an NHL sponsored organization as well. Congratulations to Isles GT taking it in four. And how about Grimm? Grimm made four or five really, really well-crafted defensive plays in that third period to help preserve that lead. And without that, Entourage may have tied it. Cannot be understated on his performance. He shut down that game in the third period. And there it is, Grizz, on your screen. The winners of the $6,000 grand prize for the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California is the New York Islanders gaming team. And they definitely deserved it, didn't they, Grizz? Absolutely. Much deserving of that championship. They were the best in the regular season. They were the best now in playoffs as well. And something just felt a little different about them this season. Bringing in RWB in net, he has been phenomenal for them. Bringing in McFlurry, you saw how important McFlurry was not only tonight, but throughout the season, throughout playoffs mm -hmm. as well. The lineups certainly paid off for Isles GT. Entourage gave us a heck of a series here tonight. Just coming up short, they are your runner up. So the number one seed finished number one in the playoffs. Number two seed, the regular season finishing as the runner ups. Yeah, the New York Islanders uh, gaming team only losing one game in regulation uh, throughout all of playoffs, which is absolutely phenomenal. And I think they did something similar in the regular season where they went on like an 18 or 19 game winning streak. So definitely well deserved by the Isles gaming team here tonight, Chris. Absolutely right. And Lime, I do believe we have one final giveaway we do. here. Yeah, we do. We have one final giveaway to hand out a $25 arch card as well as a piece of Anaheim Ducks swag exclamation point giveaway. If you guys haven't already, I'll count it down one last time. Five, four, three, two, and quack. Who's going to be taking this one out? Uh, Justin MKZ, you do not to be here. Uh, you do not need to be here to claim. We will get in touch with you, or you can message uh, the Anaheim Ducks on Twitch, and um, we will go from there and get you your awesome stuff. So this has been absolutely amazing, Grizz and Davos. Uh, definitely well deserved by the New York Islanders gaming team. Any final thoughts, Grizz? Yeah, just you know shout out to the ducks for putting this on shout out to lime and davos for uh carrying me along the way it's been a lot of fun <laughs> first sixes tournament come and gone and we'll have more for you here shortly yeah we definitely will there's lots going on in the esports scene right now davos any last words well it was a great uh, it was a great event thank you ducks uh for putting on an amazing tournament thank you to entourage and to Isles GT for putting on a spectacular final. Thank you for all the teams that participated. And I hope we hope to see you guys again in the next run. And thank you all for having us on the broadcast. That is right. Big thank you to the Anaheim Ducks, of course. We love uh, getting a place to play and you giving us that with the gaming is just something we could never ask for. So a big thank you to McDonald's of Southern California, Zip Chair and Lee Gaming. A big congratulations to the New York Islanders gaming team and entourage on coming second from the Anaheim Ducks NHL 23 launch tournament presented by McDonald's of Southern California. That's it for us. We hope you have a great night.